Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Frank from Tested. And we are back with more shop tips from Frank's shop. Uh, what do you got for us today, Frank? Uh, super glue and baby powder. Hmm, what would you use super glue and baby powder for? Well, back when I used to work at McFarland Toys, that's when I learned this. So you take a little baby powder, mm -hmm. put it on put it on one of these silicone pads. Yep. Throw a little super glue in there. And then All when right. you have uh, X-Acto blades that are dull, that's what I used to mix these. So that way I can kind of get some uh, fine control over it. And you use the baby powder to thicken the super glue to make it like, some people call it sino concrete or I don't know. It's like a putty? Yeah, you can, you can mix it into different viscosities, but you get it into a putty and then it's just a super glue filler. Oh, it works like a body filler. Yeah, like Bondo for like little tiny things. So I have this casting of this maquette that we did. Right. And they got little bubbles in the, in the tips of the claws. So I can just spoon the stuff in there and then hit it with some zip kicker. And then I can take a file or some sandpaper or whatever, and I can file those things down and make it fine. That way I don't have to mix ah. up Bondo and do all this other stuff. And better than Bondo, it sticks really great. Right, because there's a super glue right there. It's, yeah. like, it's not gonna come off. And then you use the kicker to spray, to set it real quick, and yep. then it files. So what's the ratio you have between the super glue and the baby powder? You know, it's all kind of an eyeball thing. Like the more baby powder you mix in there, the thicker you could make it. Um, and you can also use cornstarch if you want to make it set really quick. So if you put this stuff on there and sprinkle a little cornstarch on there, for whatever reason, it just it kicks it really quick. How much working time do you have on this filler? It depends on which super glue you get. There's some super glues that are longer work time or shorter work time. Um, and then you just get whichever one you need. Awesome. And then, of course, you can mix it with anything. You can mix you it have. with anything. I just like using old X-Acto blades. That way I can just precisely put it into places. Oh, everyone, these, these everyone blades super glue? Are, yeah, the, the blades are dull anyways. You might as well use it for something. Mm -hmm. And this material should be in your shop. It's an easy way to make a, a filling material yep. uh, when you don't have Bono, you don't want to mess with tubes and use a ton of material. Yeah. The only thing you have to be care of, careful of is that it, it dries really hard. So mm. if you're putting it on a piece of like lower durometer urethane, like something soft or like a mod, plastic model kit, this is going to be harder. So it's going to take longer to file than the plastic. So you have to make sure that you're not... Um, you know, putting it on something and then starting to file the piece instead of the, the filler. So uh, you just got to be aware of that. What type of material do you think it's most comparable to? Like a really, really hard urethane. Okay. All right. Very cool. Thanks a lot, Frank. We'll have more tips in a future episode. But if you have your own tips or tools and techniques that you like using in your own shop for any type of project, we'd love to hear them below. Let's... Or other ideas or other versions of this. Yeah. And, and if you end up using this, we'd mm -hmm. love to see those projects as well. But until then, Frank, and I'll see you next time.